As we discussed today, we're going to start the ABT199 um, and you've had the courses of the Binatuzumab. Yeah. So you had that little re reaction to the first one, but it, as you can see, it's had a really yeah. good response in terms of lymph nodes all shrinking. Um, as we've discussed before, one of the major issues with the ABT199 when we started is that it may kill off too many of the tumour cells and we get this tumour lysis syndrome. That risk is greatly decreased by the fact that we've got rid of so much of the tumour with the, uh, the abinutuzumab itself. So you're now in a much lower risk. In any event, we've given you all the fluids, we've given you the pre-medications, um, and what we're going to be doing and why we're keeping you in here today is to watch the bloods very, very carefully for any sign that as these CLL cells that are left in your body die off, they release um, chemicals into, into the bloodstream. Your haemoglobin today, um, 9.4, dropped just a little bit. Um, your neutrophils have also dropped just a little bit, 1.4. That's in keep. That's a feature of the binatuzumab, only temporary, and things will um, uh, pop back up. Um, your calcium's just a little bit low um, today. Um, again, probably related to what we've done before. It's at a number in which we'd normally just ignore, but we're just taking no chances. We're going to correct everything. So it's going to give you a little bit of calcium uh, also today before we start. So um, Sam's, um, you know, the, medic the medication's all ordered. Sam's gone off to, to get it. We'll get that into you. And then it's just a case of uh, getting the blood samples um, for you afterwards.